What percentage of this black rectangle is being covered up at the moment by this red square? Something that's very important to know how to do. If you ever want to become an engineer or an architect or you want to be some sort of a designer, like a fashion designer, these are important things that you need to know how to do. Now, if I ask how many possible red squares can I fit on this page, on this black section here, about how many could I fit? How many would you say? Maybe eight, maybe nine? Let's go ahead and estimate this really quickly. I can put, let's see, one, two, three, four, four on top, about four on the top. I can put another four on the bottom. Now, I never had this. I just had one. But one of these represents one out of eight. So if I quickly go back and delete these and put that back in the middle, we could say that one of these rectangles represents about, about one-eighth. Represents about one-eighth. And if we divided one divided by eight on a calculator, we would get one divided by eight that is, and multi oh, we got to multiply by 100. You always multiply by 100 at the end to get a percentage. We would get about 13%. We would get 12.5, which rounds up to 13%. Which means that once we're done our calculations, this was just an estimate, once we're done the real calculations, our answer should be very close to 13%. If it's way off, then we've done something wrong. So let's put our estimate down here somewhere off on to the side. Let's move them um, there. Now how do we go about doing this the accurate way with a ruler? This is what you do. You think about what the percent formula is. The percent formula never changes. It is always the, now think of your exams. When I'm too lazy to give you a percentage, I give you just the raw score. It is simply the score divided by the total. You would do that in your calculator. You divide these two and you multiply by 100 and you get your percent. Now in this case, we have total area, right? We have all this area here, the black space. That is our total. So instead of writing total, we are going to write total area. Now instead of score, because we don't have a score here with test marks, instead of score, we are going to write what we've got. You know, if I said, what's the percentage on your test? The first thing you would say is, well, I got 26 right. I got 26 right, and there was a total of 30 questions. Then you divide them. Now here, what do I, what, what do I have here? I've got a square. And I need to find out how much space the square is covering up underneath. So to do that, you need to go base times height. Remember back the grade, I don't know what grade you learned that in, but it was always base times height. So you need to find the length of the base. So the base length is going to be, now with the ruler, line up the edge on zero, drag this over, it looks like the ruler's crooked, so we'll fix it. Looks like about 2.5, 2.4, let's say 2.5. The base is 2.5. Since it is a square, the height is also 2.5 centimeters. Don't forget your units. We multiply them, it's base times height. So we will go... We have some colors here. We will go 2.5. We will multiply that by 2.5 and we get 6.25. That is, look, now we're going to write square. Square. Now here we're going to write 6.25 is the area of our square. Centimeters squares. And on the bottom, our total area is going to be the total area of what again? It's going to be the total area of everything, the whole black space. So we will ask ourselves, what shape is that? It is a rectangle. What is the area of a rectangle? It is base times height. So we will go ahead and find the base. The base is, this is 8 point, it's about, nine, let's just round it to 9. We'll say it is 9 what is that? Is that a 9 or 11? Let's see. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, it is 10. These numbers are hard to read. So our base is 10. Our height looks like it's close to 5. Maybe 4. No, it's, uh, it's exactly 5. So we have a 10 by 5 rectangle. So I will go ahead and write 10 centimeters, and I will write 5 centimeters. And 10 times 5, base times height, 10 times 5, is 50. 50 centimeters squared. 
Now we will go ahead and pull out our calculator. We will push the buttons into our calculator. We will divide these two numbers, divided by 50. We get 12.5 centimeters squared. Oh, wait, hold on, we got times by 100. I did that in my head and I spoiled the answer. 12.5 is what we've got here. Remember, times by 100. If you forget to put this on your exam, like I did, you would lose a half a mark. Do not forget that. 12.5, now look, we can round that to 13%. Because the 5 is bumping the 2 up. Remember, if it's 5 or bigger, this number here goes up 1. So we have 13%. What was our estimate? Our estimate was 13%. And all we did to do that was we just counted squares. We Where did these things come from? All we did was we... Looked, we said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One out of eight is thirteen percent. Now it doesn't always work out this nicely. In this example, it did, and no, I did not plan it that way. It just, I don't know, just happened by fluke. But always show your work. Always show your calculations. I may even advance the question and say there are two identical squares. What percentage do they cover altogether? In which case, you would use some logic and you would say if this one is. 13 per now it wasn't 13 it was if we go exactly right listen to this it's 12.5 percent and this one was 12.5 percent and if we add 12 and a half percent and 12 and a half percent we get 25 percent and we know 25 percent is one fourth yes we know this stuff right so look if you have two squares You've got 25% of this black space being covered up. If I asked you how much empty space there is, you would just subtract 100%, which is everything, and you would subtract 25%, these two together. And what do you get? You would get 75% empty space. So these two would be 25 and the black would be 75% empty.